Hello you guys, this is your girl, Miss Felicia Inspire. We are back again today with another tutorial. We're going to be doing a half up, half down wig installation. Okay, let's get started. We're going to be installing Letitia from the What Lace Collection, and this is a synthetic wig. Okay, for starters, I'm going to go ahead and begin preparing the wig for the client. I'm going to be using a 23 inch wig making uh, mannequin. Now I'm going to use my hot comb. On synthetic wigs, I, you have to use low heat. So I have my comb set on, set on uh, five. So that's maybe lower than 300 degrees because you don't want to melt, melt the hair. But when you use low heat, it'll go ahead and straighten out the uh, roots. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing right now, straightening out those roots. Here, I like to get crop clips. And if you don't have any, or if you want some, you can find them at your local beauty supply store, or you can visit my website and purchase um, crop clips. They're, I love them a lot better than using your regular uh, clips. Um, they really hold the hair back. So all you're gonna do is just use that to hold all of the hair back for you, to um, separate your baby hairs. Now you're going to take the iron and you're going to gently uh, go through the roots of the hair, making sure that they're straightened out. Take your time and just make sure that you're straightening all of those hairs out. Now I'm going to use my tweezers to tweeze and pull out um, the hair around the hairline. And basically with the synthetic units, you can actually use a small amount of hair and you can pull them out with your hands how I'm doing now, or you can use your tweezer. Well, I actually use my tweezer to pull, to separate what needs to be pulled out. Also, please make sure that you don't pull out too much hair at one time or you will rip a hole in the lace. So make sure that you use small amounts of hair if you're going to use the pull out method. Now I'm going to get my iron once, once again and go through that hairline one more time before I begin applying it onto my client's head. Okay, so my client is braided down and I'm going to use my holding spray bed head hard head and I'm going to lay back her um, edges with the uh, hairspray. Now I'm going to be using a black stocking cap because with synthetic wigs, with the what lace wigs, um, the new cap tend to make it a little bit uh, too light and so I like to use a black cap and you'll see when I put the wig on it does a lot better than using a nude cap under there when you're applying the wig. So um, today I'm going to just, we're not going to use lace glue for this. We're going to be using another um, an adhesive spray by Ebon, the Wonder Lace. 
we're going to use that to apply her wig because she do not want to uh, keep that wig on. She's going to take it off after this first wear. And so when she wants to apply it again, all she will have to do is just take it off and she can put it right back on tomorrow. Once you have that um, that down on one side, I like to spray on top of the lace so that you don't lift up what you've already sprayed down. Now I'm going to touch those roots again to make sure that they're straight in and to make sure that you have those roots where you can get ready to style that hair down. Now I'm going to use my black paper to put around uh, the baby hair area, the edges, because you want just as, just as well as you would do with the human hair wig, you would do the same thing with this. And this is going to make sure that the um, adhesive is, uh, the adhesive spray is dry because you don't want to pull that back up because we have to remember that you didn't use lace glue so you're going to blow dry that and make melt it down into the adhesive spray so that's all you're going to do just put that paper on there and blow dry it for roughly around two minutes or so until you think that it's dry Now we're going to use our cream makeup and you're just going to put that around the edges to cover that lace where you're getting that ashy look. Just put it on there and that'll help blend it more and make it look natural. Now I'm going to begin styling my baby hairs. She wanted a little dramatic, but not too dramatic. So we're just gonna do our thing and let it flow. For this, I'm going to be using the Got To Be Gel to lay down the baby hairs because the synthetic hair is kind of rough and coarse. So you need something that's going to lay down those baby hairs.
So here I went off camera to finish styling her baby hairs. But now um, that we're done with the baby hairs, I'm going to begin um, styling and putting it up in a ponytail. And you can just take your time and layer out uh, the hair when you put it in a ponytail. And it's normal that some of your size may lift up when you're pulling it up. But all you have to do is later on, after you finish putting it in a ponytail, just use your spray and spray it down. And you can use your hot comb along the way to make sure that it's flat when you put it up in a ponytail. And there you have it. This is the finished product. I hope that you like this tutorial. Comment and let me know if you like it and what else do you want to see. But yeah, she loves it. And remember that this is a synthetic unit. You have to make sure that you use some type of serum or shine spray to uh, tame those flyaways. Thank you guys again. Like, comment, and subscribe. Until the next time.